And I didn't even bring you lollipops. Wait. Ha. Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. In this video, let's discuss Daryl holding Rick's gun in the part three trailer for season 11 and some other spoilery type things, but it's just some behind the scenes stuff of part three and I'll just be using it to theorize some stuff. So spoiler alert, of course, if you're not caught up to season 11 of The Walking Dead. Okay, so Daryl with Rick's Colt Python. I think this is a nod, uh, Easter egg, not a hint. I don't think Rick will appear or anything, but is Daryl thinking about Rick in that moment? For sure. Michonne finds the gun in the mud at the creek bank after Rick's death and gives it to Judith. Of course, we've seen her use it a few times, but what happened to it when she went to Commonwealth? Did she take it with her? Was she allowed to take it with her? Did Daryl do something with it? Did they leave it at Alexandria? A few have said it was in the weapons bag when Daryl and Rosita and Mercer and Sebastian did a little uh, training, uh, killing some walkers. It seems like that was episode nine or 10-ish, somewhere in there. But let's look at some behind the scenes stuff with Daryl. He's in the Commonwealth uh, commotion, pointing it at something or someone. Who? Could it be the plumbers, the uh, Commonwealth soldier or soldiers, Pamela, Sebastian, Lance, or maybe one of our characters that is about to take out Pamela via something like the comic books. But let's look at more of what's going on. There's a boxing ring, it seems, at Commonwealth. Pamela is maybe making a speech or something. It could be a walker got in. Everybody seems to be in a frantic and heading off in a direction. But it seems maybe a riot happens. Maybe a Commonwealth soldier kills someone that's rioting. Um, there's this one scene here that they're fighting against a Commonwealth soldier. Mercer is advancing. You know, so maybe someone gets killed and that's all that's happening here. But people are running away, so it seems. But whatever it is, it seems to be when Daryl comes out with Rick's gun. So could this be a comic book moment or could this be something where Daryl needed a gun inside Commonwealth to take out who? The plumbers? Lance? Who could it be? And we don't see Father Gabriel anywhere. And the last trailer for the last few episodes didn't show him either. So I thought, hey, maybe Father Gabriel dies by the mid-season finale, but no, he's still there. He's still alive. He made it out. So I'm thinking just because we don't see him in the trailer doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't make it, but that is a possibility. We see Rosita and uh, Eugene hugging in the trailer. You know, what's that about? Could it be that somebody died? Father Gabriel, maybe? And in some of these shots, it shows Aaron doing some killing, killing some walkers, doing some stuff, but Look right here, that's uh, Jerry, and he's just kind of sitting, leaned up, like he's hurt bad and he can't go anywhere. Is he bitten? Is he just wounded? Something's happening to Jerry, and that's not cool. I think what they've shown us is not the entirety of kind of what's going on in part three, just maybe a few episodes. So there should be a lot going on. There should be a lot of action going on and, and things intertwining with Carol in the case and uh, what's happening outside the walls of Commonwealth. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. I am sure we will see more and I'll be here trying to explain more with the help of you guys. So let me know what you think about this video and what do you think Daryl may be doing down in the comments below and I will join you there. This is James in Nashville as always. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.